Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 31st January. Already January month is over. Uh, we'll talk about the hindrances for spiritual growth. As we are daily going through this, learning how to grow spiritually, we have to know what are the hindrances also. 1 Peter 2, 1 says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies, and all evil speakings. Yesterday we considered the necessity of the word of God for spiritual growth. Peter enumerates a number of things which lessen the desire for the word of God and hinder spiritual growth. They must be eliminated if we are to mature spiritually. First, malice must be put away. Malice is the harboring of uh, unkind thoughts about others and evil intent to harm others a desire to get even with them. If we have this, resentment and bitterness build up. This must be removed. We must remove all guile, deceitfulness and slyness. Hypocrisy, pretense, insincerity, pretending to be what we are not must be eliminated. Sometimes we are envious about others, what others have or of honors they receive. We become jealous of someone who receives a position we desired. This kind of spirit hinders our spiritual growth. Evil speaking, gossip and even slander can easily creep into our conversation. If you could play a tape of your conversation for, a, for the past one week, would you want to change what you said? Our talk may hold back our spiritual development. Have you recognized any of these hindrances in your life? Peter said, they must all be removed, every one of them. Sometimes they are so deeply rooted, they have to be cut out. If we do our part in, part in confessing them, God does his part in forgiving and cleansing and cutting off all, all the things. In 1 John 1, 9, it is said, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Not only are we to remove these hindrances from our lives, but we must nourish ourselves by feeding upon God's word. Psalm 119.81 say, gives us the secret. Thy word have I hid in my, my heart that I might not sin against thee. If you have the word of God in, in you, you will not be able to sin because the Holy Spirit is in us and he'll be guiding us. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about the hindrances for our spiritual growth. Please help us to ponder on this and remove all the qualities that we have that, that are in hindering our spiritual growth. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.